ஹாய் ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் குட் மார்னிங் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் த வாய்ஸ் ஆஃப் நர்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் கண்டினியூஸ் டாபிக் ஃப்ரம் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ மென்டல் ஹெல்த் அண்ட் சைக்கியாட்ரிக் நர்சிங் திஸ் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் பார்ட் ஃபோர் வி ஆல்ரெடி டிஸ்கஸ் இன் பார்ட் ஒன் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி மென்டல் ஹெல்த் நர்சிங் அண்ட் சைக்கியாட்ரிக் நர்சிங் அண்ட் சம் ஆஃப் தி மெடிக்கல் டேர்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ சம் ஆஃப் தி டிசர்டர்ஸ் and also we are already discussing 25 questions along with introduction of the psychiatric nursing in part 1 next part 2 we already discussed in mental health psychiatric nursing related to 25 questions along with psychiatric terms and disorders detail explanation done in part 2 video and also we finished part 3 in part 3 video 25 questions detail explanation done in previous part 3 video now we are going to discuss part 4 in this video we will discuss from the 76 question to 100 question 25 questions we will cover in this video before moving on to topic a small request friends anybody watching first time my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification and please share the video and please give a like while watching a video please give a one thumbs up friends next move on to topic now we are going to discuss mental health and psychiatric nursing from 76 question onwards 76 question labile means what is meaning of labile we will see here options option a strong desire to achieve option b unstable unchangeable option c viewing the future option d initial disturbance label means nothing but unstable but label is characterized by emotions which are easily aroused freely expressed and tend to alter quickly and spontaneously so here label means unstable here option b is there unstable and unchangeable in psychiatry affect emotional liability characterized by rapid exaggerated changes in mood where strong emotions or feelings occur for example a person can suddenly start crying uncontrollably because of any strong emotion even though they do not feel sad frustrated or happy so here they will be unstable and unchangeable so here label means unstable unchangeable option b is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 77 the most psychiatric illness in india which are the most psychiatric illness in india from the following options we are having here four disorders we will see here one by one option a schizophrenia option b alcohol dependent option c depression option d dementia According to WHO World Health Organization data shows that at least 57 million people in India are affected by depression so here option C is the correct answer according to WHO 57 million people in India affected by depression one in seven persons means in every seven persons one person is suffering with depression in India most common in India mental health disorders according to the rate is first place in depression means most common psychiatric illness in india depression second condition is anxiety phobia third most affecting in india is condition eating disorders so here most common psychiatric illness in india depression is there option c is the correct answer here regarding schizophrenia alcohol dependent dementia in detail about we already discussed in previous video that's why i am not explaining in detail next we will move on to question number 78 a female client who's at high risk of suicidal thoughts close supervision the best safety about client by nurse here a female client is having high risk of suicidal thoughts in close observation and the best safety about client by nurse what nurse had to do a safety to the patient we will see here options option a repeatedly discuss about thoughts option b continuous ask questions option c check client frequently and close observation to be done option d all of the above if 
any patient is having any suicidal thoughts and patient is on any depression levels and mood swing disorders mania condition we can't disturb them because if we are discussing condition we are repeating question asking repeated questions and repeated discuss related to their thoughts means they will be they will be more anxious and more irritability there in the patients so option a repeatedly discuss about thoughts is not correct here option b continuous asking repeated questions is not correct option d all of the above is there so but here option c is the correct answer check client frequently and close observation to be done check the client frequently but irregular intervals to be prevent the client from suicidal thoughts the nurse must not be left alone the patient and also the suicidal individual must be treated in a safe and secure place the place has be to be monitor closely so here option c check the client frequently and close observation to be done and also we have to provide safe and safety secure place to the clients so here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 79 when teaching parents about childhood depression nurse should say here the parents having a childhood depression kid and the nurse should say and nurse should teach parents from the which of the following we will see here options option a it is a short duration and resolve easily option b it may appear acting out behavior option c look like a depression option d no need to give a explanation here what is childhood depression we have to know childhood depression is different from the everyday blues that most kids get a development the fact the child feels sad lonely or irritable does not mean they have childhood depression childhood depression is persistent sadness when it occurs means child feels alone hopeless helpless and worthless this is called a childhood depression so children have difficulty verbal expressing their feelings actions out of behavior for the childhood depression example condition is temper tantrum temper tantrum means unpleasant and disruptive behaviors or emotional outburst they will shout means emotional outburst is there in temper tantrum this is for example for the childhood depression so here option c it may appear acting out of behavior is a correct answer the nurse have to explain to the parents regarding childhood depression option c it may appear acting out of behavior is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 80 hypnotherapy is least effective in people suffering from hypnotherapy is least effective in people from the which of the condition we will see here options option a schizophrenia option b phobias option c anxiety disorders option d all of the above here what is hypnotherapy hypnotherapy hypnosis is a changed state of awareness and increased relaxation that allows that for improved focus and concentration it is also called as hypnotherapy hypnosis is also called as hypnotherapy hypnotherapy is a changed state of awareness and increased relaxation that allows an improved focus and concentration so hypnotherapy can be helped to post traumatic stress disorder and depression anxiety insomnia and eating disorders behavior disorders etc so here hypnotherapy is least effective people here option a schizophrenia is the correct answer phobias anxiety disorders is best treatment for the hypnosis but what is the treatment for schizophrenia the best treatment for schizophrenia is cognitive behavior therapy psychotherapy family therapy group and group counseling group therapy and group counseling physiological therapy and etc so here hypnotherapy is least effective in option a schizophrenia next we will move on to question number 81 the nurse is developing a care plan for a client with anorexia nervosa which action should the nurse includes the planning so here the client 
with anorexia nervosa and nurse developing a care plan and in the nursing care plan what should they give a priority to the patient planning and in nursing care plan regarding to the anorexia nervosa condition we will see here options option a encourage the client to exercise option b set up a strict dietary for the client option c provide privacy during meals and option d restrict visits with the family until the clients to eat the nurse includes in the planning about the strict dietary plan for the client this is very important to the clients weight gaining and for the condition and also family should be included in client's care the client should be monitored during the meals and do not give privacy encourage the client to exercise must be limited and well supported and well supervised also by the nurse set up a strict dietary chart for the client here option b is the correct answer nurse is developing a care plan for the client anorexia nervosa set up a strict dietary chart for the client here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 82 if a client says god is punishing me or why me how should the nurse responds the client is saying god is punishing me or why me the nurse responds from the following option a reply god does not punish people option b make jokes option c ignore patient and leave them alone listen quietly one of the misrepresentation of a real sensory stimulus is hallucinations patient is have hallucinations means it will be auditory and sensory organs means auditory and taste smell touch and also verbal so here these are the hallucination so listen quietly and also you can say yes because we have to give a little bit support to the client and slowly talk with them and change the mood and behavior of the clients through the listen quietly god is punishing me why me means we have to listen quietly option d is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 83 which of these item is an example of positive stressors we will see here options option a eutress option b low anxiety option c mood swings option d positive emotions stressors stressors is an event or situation that causes stress for example death of close family members so here the stressors means having event of stress so here option a what is eustress eustress means high anxiety or positive from the stress so here option a is the correct answer next option b low anxiety they feel having low anxiety levels option c mood swing mood swing disorder means mood will be alternative changing the behavior option d positive emotion if person is having stress means they are having negative emotion so here option b c d except means option a is the correct answer your stress means positive from a stress positive stressors example or worry fear anger sadness negative emotions and distress so here option a is the correct answer next we'll move on to question number 84 beta waves are characteristics in eeg of person who is eeg electroencephalogram beta waves are characteristic in the eeg of person who is having from the options option a in sleep option b a sleep but not dreaming option c awake and alert option d dreaming eeg eeg is a electroencephalogram eeg is a recording of brain activity to detect and investigate the epilepsy and a condition that causes repeated seizures so here not only epilepsy seizures epilepsy head injuries dizziness and brain tumors and also sleeping problems some of the times we can identify through the eeg 
brain death also we can identify so here we will discuss beta waves and alpha waves first we will discuss beta waves beta waves represent our normal waking state of consciousness when attention and also directed at cognitive task and outside of the world so here beta waves is awake and alert option c is the correct answer here what is alpha waves alpha waves characteristics of eeg is relaxation and sleeping so here beta waves is characteristics in eeg a person is having awake and alert option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 85 indian mental health act was passed in the year indian mental health act was passed in the year we will see here options option a 1983 option b 1986 option c 1987 option d 1985 objectives of indian mental health act in 1987 to regulate the powers of the government for establishing licensing and controlling psychiatric hospitals and psychiatric nursing homes for mentally ill person first mental health hospital in india is bombay mumbai bombay or mumbai in 1745 second mental health hospital in kolkata here indian mental health act was passed in the year of 1987 option c is the correct answer here move on to question number 86 which of the following improves worker skills and reduces frustration and stress we will see here options option a job analysis option b access to and employee assistance program option c organizational culture option d job training encourage experiences support groups make employees feel supported rewarded employ loyalty encourage feedbacks and also improve the communication between the employees and improve the assistant programs teamwork problem solving organizing self management system and leadership skills so here option b assess to and employ assistant programs so here the following improve worker skills and development regarding reduces frustration and stress means to assess client and employ assistant program option b is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 87 the client is experiences false sensory perceptions with no basis in reality this is known as means client is having experiencing false sensory perceptions with of no basis of reality this condition is known as we will see here options option a loss association option b negativism option c hallucinations option d delusions loss association loss association or rapid shift among unrelated ideas so here this is not sensory perceptions option b negativism negativism and attitude of mind and negative attitude so here this is also not sensory perception next option c hallucination hallucination or visual auditory touched tasted or smelled something that wasn't actually not there so here option c hallucination is a one of the experience of false sensory perceptions with no basis in reality so here option c is the correct answer what is delusions delusion or false beliefs rather than perceptions that the client accept as real option c hallucinations is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 88 preparing the client for the termination phase begins means preparing the client for the termination phase begins we will see here options option a pre orientation option b working option c orientation option d termination the phases of the therapeutic relationship is having four phases those are pre interaction phase orientation phase working phase and termination phase we will see here what is these all are the phases here first we will see orientation phase orientation phase is the period when the nurse and patient first meets and this is orientation phase and here the 
nurse will make a goals related to the person situation and condition so here orientation phase is not here the termination phase next we will see working phase working phase is the goal of the working phase is to promote change the termination phase is the final phase and period when patients goals and assessed the relationship comes to and end the client for example saying good boy means patient is recovered and patient goals and assessed relationship comes at the end this is working phase so this is working phase is termination phase begins preparing the client for the termination phase begins with working phase option b is the correct answer here additionally we will see here what is termination phase termination phase which can include looking back on the course of treatment helping the client and we had to giving a health education or any related to the condition and for the management at home we have to explain in this phase so here option b working phase is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 89 a client is prescribed with sertralin or zoloft the guarantee a safe admission of medication a nurse would administer the dose so here the doctor is prescribed a medication sertraline drug the guarantee safe administration of medication the nurse administer the medicine which time we will see here options option a early in morning option b empty stomach option c as needed only for depression option d at the bed time what is sertraline we had to know first sertraline is a medication used to manage and treat the major depressive disorders obsessive compulsive disorders panic disorders and post traumatic stress disorder and social anxiety disorders these all are the condition the sertraline we can use for treatment it may be administered in the morning or evening but giving in evening is favorable since drowsiness is one of the side effects so this drug is having side effects of drowsiness so we have to administer the medication at the bed time is the best time for the administration so here option d at bed time is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 90 these symbols are indicates to we will see here options option a sex unknown option b death option c patient option d female here we can see in this screen these these symbols indicates to what means here we are having one circle and middle one line and box middle one line here circle means female box means male actually we are no we all are no here in the middle line is indicates to death option b is the correct answer here if we are having symbols in exams means like this it is indicates to death option b is the correct answer here move on to question number 91 the word echinacea means what is the meaning of echinacea we will see here options option a absence of speech option b absence of motor activity option c lack of energy option d severe motor restlessness here what is echinacea echinacea means we have to know first echinacea means the motor activity is absence so here option b absence of motor activity is the correct answer but we will see other options also option a absence of speech what is absence of speech in medical term means mutism mutism means absence of speech option b absence of motor activity means echinacea option c lack of energy lack of energy means energia energia means lack of energy option d severe motor restless severe motor restless means agitation here the word echinacea means absence of motor activity option b is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 92 reception order on petition means what is the meaning of reception order on petition we will see here option a voluntary admission option b admission through a medical practitioners option c admission through family members option d admission through magistrate we will see here one by one 
options option a voluntary admission the admission with the consent of the person diagnosed with mental illness or mental health facility is voluntary admission next admission through a medical practitioner means a person who is skilled in the science of medicines or private doctor this is called as admission through a medical practitioner what is admission through family members the role that parents and family members play important role in admission if the person is having in the family illness mentally illness means they will admit through the family members in the hospital this is called as admission through family members option d admission through magistrate so here option a b c is not reception order and petition means here option d is the correct answer left one is there na option d so admission through magistrate what we will see now mentally ill persons when requiring admission in a psychiatric facility have to admitted only by a reception order and petition of magistrate he is called as admission through magistrate reception order and petition means the admission through magistrate option d is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 93 which of the following foods would the nurse eliminate from diet of client in alcohol withdrawal client is having alcohol withdrawal and the nurse should eliminate food from the options option a juice option b coffee option c milk and option d tea when alcohol is mixed with caffeine the caffeine can mask the depressant effects of alcohol regular coffee contains caffeine which act the psychomotor stimulation and lead to feelings of anxiety and agitation it may cause of tremors and weakness so here we have to eliminate from the diet of client is having alcohol withdrawal means option b coffee coffee we have to eliminate from the diet so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 94 a person seeing a rope takes it to be a snake this condition is called as a person seeing a rope and he said he is seeing snake means the condition is called as we will see here options option a ocd option b mania option c illusions option d delirium regarding ocd obsessive compulsive disorder and mania illusion delirium and schizophrenia and hallucination and dementia these all are the condition we already discussed in part 2 video and part 1 video just check it once friends here we will discuss briefly related to the condition only here option c illusion is the correct answer illusion is a disorder where real object is present but the object is perceived by the patient as a complete different subject or object for example a person can take a rope as a snake so here option c is the correct answer a person is seeing a rope takes it is snake means condition is called as illusions next we will move on to question number 95 ego works based on ego will works based on which of the options we will see here options option a reality option b perfection option c conscience option d pleasure here we will see one by one what are these all are first we will see reality option a reality ego operates based on the reality principle the reality principle weighs the cost and benefits of action so reality is correct answer ego operates based on the reality so here ego works based on the reality option a is the correct answer next we will see one by one option b perfection what is perfection perfection means the quality or state of being perfect such as freedom of fault freedom from fault and maturity without state of being perfect fault so here perfection means quality of state being perfect next what is conscience option c what is conscience conscience is the part of our mind that tells you if what you are doing is right or wrong this is called as conscience what is pleasure the state or feeling of being pleasured enjoyment or satisfaction derived from what is to one's liking means this is one of the 
thinking full so pleasure here ego works based on the reality option a is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 96 serene serene is a example of serene is an example of we will see here options option a antidepressant option b antipsychotics option c mood stabilizer and option d none of the above what is serene serene means calm and peaceful or not worried or not excited means patient is having normal condition this is called as antipsychotic behavior so here option b is the correct answer if person is having any psychotic disturbances or illness means person will disturbed mind and mood and hyperactivity and hyperactive behavior these all are the comes under psychotic behavior and depression and also some of the mood disorders so here serene is example for the antipsychotics means the serene means calm and peaceful not worried and not excitable so here option b is the correct answer antipsychotics next we will move on to question number 97 the chief characteristics of hypnosis hypnosis also called as hypnotherapy what is the chief characteristics of hypnosis we will see here options option a heightened arousal option b enhanced creativity option c increased suggestibility option d all of the above the main characteristics of hypnosis is a trance like mental state in which people experiences increased attention and concentration and suggestibility so here the chief characteristic of hypnosis is increased suggestibility option c is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 98 a client is diagnosed with bulimia nervosa the most appropriate initial goal for the condition client is having and diagnosed with bulimia nervosa the most appropriate initial goal for the condition we will see here options option a eat only 3 meals per day option b encourage to avoid foods option c identify anxiety causing option d encourage more fluids so here what is bulimia nervosa bulimia nervosa is a serious eating disorder marked by binging followed by method to avoid weight gain bulimia nervosa is a life threatening eating disorder generally is a more adaptive coping response to stress and underlying issues the client should identify causing situation so here the client itself identify the causing situation that stimulate the bulimic behavior and here identify anxiety causing what are the anxiety causes for the bulimia nervosa condition so they have to identify the anxiety causes for the condition so here option c identify anxiety causing is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 99 what are the major health complication associated with intractable anorexia nervosa in before question 98th question we already discussed related to bulimia nervosa bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa both are the eating disorders these are the conditions for the life threatening eating disorders so here in this question we will discuss about anorexia nervosa here we will see first options option a endocrine imbalance causing cold amenorrhea option b cardiac arrhythmias resulting to cardiac arrest option c glucose intolerance resulting in hypoglycemia option d all of the above anorexia nervosa is also one of the eating disorder it may be having medical conditions we will see what are the medical complications will happen in anorexia nervosa intractable anorexia nervosa means we are having some of the medical complication what all will come we will see now increased risk of cardiac arrest aspiration pneumonia while eating they will having recurrent cough through the recurrent cough they will having aspiration of pneumonia next nausea vomiting bloating bradycardia cardiac structure abnormalities and risk of lung collapse anemia and suppressed immune response these all are the medical complications 
in the anorexia nervosa we will see what are the signs and symptoms related to the anorexia nervosa here we are having signs and symptoms of anorexia nervosa weight loss insomnia dizziness cyanosis abnormal blood count amenorrhea constipation and abdominal pain malaise and thin body build in males low sperm count in females amenorrhea is there in signs and symptoms of anorexia nervosa here in complication we already discussed related to the condition the cardiac dysrhythmias and also bradycardia and increased risk of cardiac arrest so here the major health complication associated with interactable anorexia nervosa is cardiac arrhythmias so here cardiac dysrhythmias resulting to the cardiac arrest is the correct answer treatment of anorexia nervosa behavior therapy we can give behavior therapy frequent interval feeding and arrange diet according to their preferences means client preferences and continue antipsychotic medication as for advice here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 100 this is last question in this video 100 question pinitoin is used in the treatment of the drug pinitoin is used in the which treatment of the following we will see here options option a petit mal epilepsy option b grand mal epilepsy option c myoclonic seizures option d all of the above what is pinitoin pinitoin is a medication used in the management and treatment of epilepsy generalized tonic clonic seizures complex partial seizures and status of epileptus and pinitoin is an class of medications called as anticonvulsants so here we know now pinitoin here the drug pinitoin is it which of the treatment from the options we will see one by one petit mal epilepsy what is petit mal epilepsy petit mal epilepsy means absence of seizures a type of seizures that involves brief sudden lapses in attention so absence of seizures there is no episodes of seizures so here option a is petit mal epilepsy next what is grand mal epilepsy we will see now the grand mal epilepsy is a grand mal seizures causes a loss of consciousness and violent muscle contraction in this condition we can use the pinitoin the grand mal seizures means causes a loss of consciousness and violent muscle contraction is there we can treat through the pinitoin this grand mal epilepsy so here option b is the correct answer is myoclonic seizures myoclonic seizures are a type of seizures that causes a quick uncontrollable muscle movement with no change in level of awareness or consciousness the myoclonic seizures are type of seizures that causes quick uncontrollable muscle movement and with no change of level of awareness and consciousness so here pinitoin is used in the treatment of grand mal epilepsy option b is the correct answer pinitoin is class of medication used for the anti convulsants okay friends here option b is the correct answer till now we finished 100 question in the psychiatric and mental health nursing point of view till now we discussed in four parts related to mental health and psychiatric nursing i will keep in description one more thing i have to give a information to my viewers related to the all topics means all are the subject till now what we finished those all are the i already arranged in playlist just check it once friends next we will continue next subject first aid first aid topic we will discuss next continuous topics related to the first aid we will discuss 100 question in next videos further videos thank you so much for watching my video please anybody watching first time my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon and like a video and share the video please give a comment for more videos please subscribe